Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Walking Dead uh, AMC series, Action Figures Series 2 of Shane Walsh. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, I've been wanting the Shane figure. I wanted the one without the cap, so when they re-released him, I was like, eh, and I didn't end up getting him, even though I probably should have. Um... But Shane is one of the figures that I still needed. I need uh, the uh, Rick that's a Walgreens exclusive. Still haven't found that. And I, I'm still looking for the uh, Herschel that's a Target exclusive. Uh, but I was at the comic book store the other day getting my comics. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have a Shane figure. So I get my comics, go out, go back into the comic book store. I'm like, I gotta get this. So I end up getting it. And I'm very happy I did. So yeah, um, let's take a look at the packaging and then I'm going to open this bad boy up and uh, show them to you guys. So it's very basic packaging. Um, here we go. I shall have the camera probably moving around way too much. Um, you can see the back of it is pretty much Herschel's Farm. It's based off of that. Uh, based off the hit AMC series. Series 2 McFarlane Toys, 13 and up, blah, blah, blah. We have Shane Walsh, uh, arms raised to take aim. It's stuck in that position, unfortunately. Uh, he's got this look on his face, which is pretty ugly. Uh, it's a long box. They filled it you, uh, mostly with this cardboard that takes up the majority of the box. Uh, really, there's no need for uh, the box to be this big. And really, um, $15, I get it because it's probably an inflated price, but I honestly don't think that this figure is worth $15. Um, I got him because I wanted him, and um, I was willing to pay that, but I do not think that this figure like should be $15 if you were to find him in stores, is pretty much what I'm saying. I think that he's closer to maybe 10 um, and I think that they made the packaging a bit bigger to try to sell him for a bit more. Um, on the back, we can see... Deputy Rick Grimes, a well zombie, Shane RV zombie, and bicycle girl zombie. I kind of want the RV zombie. I want. I I kind of want all the zombies, but I really haven't started collecting them yet. I have one or two from the comic series, but um, from the TV show, I haven't collected any of the zombies. Anyway, I'm going to open this bad boy up and let's see what he's made of. Okay, so it uh, turns out he's made of plastic and not very good plastic. So uh, remember when I said a minute ago that he was uh, should be worth about uh, maybe ten dollars instead of fifteen uh, for you know street price, not inflated price obviously. But um, anyway, I kind of retract that. I think that he should be worth way less than that, maybe five or six bucks, because this is a hunk of plastic that does not have good articulation and cannot be posed well. So um, what is the articulation? You may be wondering. Uh, well. And before I get to the articulation, just one thing I want to add about the packaging really quick that I forgot. It's really ugly in the packaging. The packaging is not that attractive at all. And uh, here's his back turned. See how I kind of have him facing, not really his face is forward, but his body is forward. Um, the packaging, as you saw, had him with his back to the packaging, which was very ugly. So the articulation on this figure is a ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. I don't want to take uh, the gun out of the hand, but both hands, uh, shoulders rotate upward, um, and they also rotate downward. Uh, the elbows seem to probably not move. Yeah, I was right. And the wrists don't have any articulation either. Uh, the waist rotates around 360 degrees, and then the legs up here rotate around 360 degrees like that. And that is it for the articulation on him. He is literally stuck in this pose. If you try to get him in any other pose, it will look completely unnatural and really bad. And he's just a really not that attractive figure. Um, if you want a Shane figure, uh, and you want a high quality Shane figure, this is not the figure for you. Um, I would probably wait. However, if you're like me and doubt that they'll ever actually come out with a good Shane figure, or at least that it'll be years before they do, um, you'll have to settle on this one, which is not that great, but, um, you know, he's kind of cool because at first the Walking Dead figures were honestly not that good. Um, this seemed to be one of the worst of the Walking Dead figures, at least in my opinion. I don't really, I can't say too much because I don't have the Series 1 or 2 Rick, and I don't have the Series 1 Daryl or any of the zombies because I started collecting it uh, Series 3. However, um, Series 3 was when they actually started getting real with their figures, 
and uh, started making them look better. I still think that the Ricks and the Daryl both were probably a bit better than the Shane. Um, I do believe that Daryl was stuck in a post too, but you could get them kind of to look a little bit natural uh, to where like you can bend his elbows and everything to where with this Shane you just can't and this Shane is like and he's he's just kind of a piece of trash to be honest uh, but you know he's still a character um, who this is the only figure we have of a Shane Walsh and um, I will appreciate that because um, even just kind of as a statuette type figure, um, he looks kind of cool. The detailing on him isn't too bad. Of course, it doesn't look 100% like um, Shane or like the actor at all. Um, because if you, if the, yeah, there's the camera. You can see he just, the face is just really bad. Um, but the pose is, I guess, kind of, he's kind of in a cool pose um, at the very least, which I guess is what they were going for. Um, so with, I guess I would have rather had him uh, tour like the rest of the figures tour. You could pose him however you wanted, but uh, hey, um, they were just trying, I guess, experimenting out with stuff. So what do you think? Do you guys have this figure? Do you want him if you don't have him? Uh, if you do have him, what do you think of him? Um, that's pretty much it for my review. Uh, please make sure to subscribe for uh, content including reviews on extra figures, comics, uh, video games, that kind of stuff. And until next time, Boba7772, out.